Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard's, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <laughs> tracks now time to move buddy let's go i never doubted you for a second but but that was incredible maybe we have a chance of getting to eligard after all look there's the sign redstonia redstonia here we come about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat>
much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message, please? No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I'm here to reassemble the Order, all right? You know the Order? Eligard's old gang? You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater to save the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hello! Why, hey there! I'm Sandy, and what you see before you... is the future. The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. Flying machine, huh? Does it actually... You better believe it, but uh, only straight up for now. Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then. I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Ha, huh, yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. I'm lying. I'm totally terrified of them. And yet you wanna... fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. Any chance you've got a spare repeater? Sorry, no dice. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. A lever. I wonder what it does. Hey, Sandy, 
Sorry, I've actually got to take care of this. I want it working perfectly before Eligard comes back out. When she sees this wonder machine, she'll definitely want me as her protege. Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. I'll just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh! Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Oh man, I bet you could make a lot of cookies with all that. Level with me. Do you just make cookies, like all the time. Huh, I, I might make a cookie or two. Yeah, you do. Oh, I love cookies. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Megmaster 9 million? Yeah, it's huge! It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Are you still here? Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. A perfect fusion of my two loves, Cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. 
Just stay away from that little, uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? Little shorts-wearing jerk. I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks you're a cow killer. A real cow cruelty nut. That little... Uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people? Guess I just call him like I see him. Ooh. Hey, a redstone repeater, that's just what I need. Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. <sighs> be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a flying. Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry, friend. Tapped out. Hey, that farmer over there sent me the one with all the sugar cane. Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Come on, isn't this beneath you? You've already perfected the cowapult, clearly. Shouldn't you start turning your attention to new pursuits? You actually make a lot of sense, friend. Maybe it is time to find my next masterpiece to be. Huh, thanks for helping me get my head right. Hmm, maybe a Trey Mouche next. Maybe that guy has something I could use. Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Elagard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized.
Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Hey, Sandy? Sorry, I've actually got to take care of this. I want it working perfectly before Eligard comes back out. When she sees this wonder machine, she'll definitely want me as her protege. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! So high! Going so very high! Sorry! Okay, now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. Wonder how high it'll go. This view is spectacular. Hey, Disco Man! No sense crying over burned steaks. <laughs> it's funny that he's sad. And you, nicely done, you! This is hilarious. Oh, my machine! My poor machine! Oh, I can't let Elgard see it like this. Uh, she'll never make me her protege. Oh, how am I ever gonna fix this? Oh, my machine! My poor machine! Oh, I can't let Elgard see it like this. Uh, she'll never make me her protege. Oh, how am I ever gonna fix this? all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. So Eligard's trying to make a command block in there? I know. I heard that too. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's no way we misheard her, right? I sure don't like the sound of that. You saw what happened when Ivor tried to use a command block? Yeah, no kidding. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces, talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. That's rare for me. Pfft, you're just as good as them, Olivia. Just be confident. Maybe. But thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Redstone Laboratory. 
Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Huh. Simple, but effective. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. What are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man. Look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. Try not to touch anything? I wasn't going to touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. This close to meeting Eligard. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. Hmm. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. Like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. 
She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's rock this block with another test. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <gasps> adorable pig, that is! <laughs> Jessie? She thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle Girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy, grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh, hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? You know about Ivor? He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block, capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. With a side of sweet, sweet redstone engineering. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe- Will you help me make one? going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here. 
in my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Whoa. Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! 
Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Everyone just coming and going around here. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You've got to believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me. Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Eligard, come on. I know this isn't how the plan was supposed to go, but it's going to be fine. Ha! Fine. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm. In the process of turning the whole world into its dinner? It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed... everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just... think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you. This thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. 
there's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never... Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, small fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super tea and... Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! Not too far, we could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus. 
and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go, now. It's so bad that you're gonna just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's not night yet. We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big fan of safety. Okay. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan! But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before, but whatever. Still seem all right. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh, and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. Hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Oh man, we've got... 
Scott Enderman. your voice and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Enderman. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Where are the others? They went searching ahead for you. walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. This place is a dream come true for Lucas. Look at him. He's loving it. Guard the engineer. Gabriel the warrior. I'm glad he came along, even if it did take a bit of persuading. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Olivia's working up more plans, as usual. Hey, Jesse? Yeah? It's Petra. She... I don't know. Doesn't seem right. I tried asking, but she... Well, maybe she'll talk to you? Big cool place like this? Underground? Weird. Jesse, isn't this incredible? I can't believe we're actually here.
This super TNT thing feels like such a long shot. Well, we're trusting Eligard on this one, so maybe our chances are better, right? Okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Well, let's put up. bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. It'll be fine. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? showed up not too long after you saved me. Holy crap, what are we doing down here? We need to get you help. I don't know if there's anything we can do, Jesse. Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course, we've been... No, Jesse. Just Wither, or Wither Sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Oh. Ah! Creeper! Ah. Grab my hand, pull you up! <clears throat> Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you.
something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Hey, show yourself. Who's there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here? So now you may find it back out again. Ivor, just calm down, okay? I think we're here for the same reason. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Wait, but I... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? Ha <laughs> ha! Foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. Patrick, let him go. It's not worth it. Seriously. I didn't escape one monster just to let another get away. Storm. Not you, not the order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going anywhere. This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first! Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> I'm like the wind! Wait, Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me, now you. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions, he could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. Rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? Me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Hmm. 
next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell.